ordering medications and managing decision support. From our patient's chart, we will now place some orders which are going to fire decision support for us. We can see that our patient has an allergy to penicillin. However, I'm going to be ordering IV benzyl penicillin. You can see from the search I have just done that the smart search for um, selecting your medications really can narrow down the results. The decision support screen fires and we can see here that the patient has uh, a potential allergy interaction here. The penicillin order will uh, have a potential interaction with the penicillin allergy that is documented in the chart. We have got two options here. We can either select an override reason and continue with the order, or we can remove the identified order by clicking in the box in the bottom left hand corner. For this demonstration, I will be removing the identified order and ordering something that might be a little more suitable for my patient. So I'm placing an order for keftriaxone, but once again, there is the potential that there could be um, an allergy interaction with this drug that I'm charting. So again, it shows me at the top here, there's the potential for an allergy and it brings through the allergy information down the bottom here. Once again, I do have the option to uh, select an override reason and continue with my order, or I can remove the identified order. I'm going to select a clinically relevant reason from the override reason drop down menu, and I'm going to override this alert and continue with the order. The system will not stop you from doing anything or placing any order. It will uh, merely give you decision support. Next, I'm going to order some doxycycline. And I'm going to order some diltiazem. Now we've already got some charted, so what we'll be seeing here is the decision support for um, therapeutic duplication. So this is our decision support for um, therapeutic duplication. The system will show you the order at the top here that can uh, potentially be a duplicate for the order you're trying to place down the bottom here. So again, we can either override the alert or we can remove the identified order. And I'll remove it because for this scenario, it has been duplicated in error. Next, I'd like to place an order for a once-off dose of morphine to be administered now. We can see here that uh, there doesn't appear to be any once-only orders um, that are to be administered now for our five milligram of uh, morphine. So I'm going to select the closest and then I'll modify that order sentence. And finally, I'm going to place an order for quetiapine. Again, I have diltiazem charted, so once I select my quetiapine order, I will now see a drug-drug interaction alert appear on my screen. The system has identified that the quetiapine that I am attempting to order will have a potential interaction with these diltiazem orders which are currently chartered. I can override that alert and continue with the order. However, I can see here that it's been identified as a major interaction. So I will remove this identified order. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to complete the mandatory information that is on my orders here. I'm actually going to modify the uh, doxycycline dose and I'm going to change it from 100 milligram to 500 milligram because when I sign for my order now, you will see that this will fire off the dose range check alert. And we can see with the uh, morphine order, we want it to be a once only to be administered now. It is going to be once only, however, the first dose priority is marked as routine. We want it to be administered now. So we change the first dose priority to now. We get a little box to let us know that we are resetting the current date and time. When I sign this now, I will be now getting a dose range alert. This is letting me know that I'm ordering over the suggested single dose of 0 to 200 milligram because I'm ordering 500 milligrams of doxycycline. I have three options here. I can cancel the order, I can override this alert, or I can modify the order. I'm going to modify this order. 
and I'll change it back to 100 milligram and I will sign. When I refresh my screen and I go to the Ma, I'm going to refresh the Ma and now we can see the now doses are in red.